I am Good very Charlie. excited uh, to introduce you to our next guest. She is an extraordinary teacher that we recently um, met up with in Chicago. Take a look. I feel like it's very important for teachers to be active in their communities so that they can understand firsthand how to make it a better place. My name is Amy Castaneda. I've been teaching for 24 years. I teach kindergarten through second grade art at Ortiz de Dominguez in the Little Village neighborhood in Chicago. I moved into Little Village because I knew wherever I was going to teach, I'd also want to live there. I just feel like it's very important to be able to know the families that I'm teaching and understand the same things that they're experiencing. One of the things in our neighborhood is a lot of safety issues and parents feel uncomfortable letting their kids play outside. So when we first moved in, there was some violence that was directed specifically at us. We had issues with a gang that set our house on fire and was trying to intimidate us because they felt like we were intruding. As a result of that violence, my husband and I started a nonprofit. It's called Beyond the Ball, and it's sports-based youth development. And basically what we're trying to do is make the community a safer place for kids to play. I have a lot of long-term relationships with my students since I've been in the neighborhood for 24 years. I just this summer went to a wedding. I go to baptisms, I go to quinceañeras. My favorite part about being a teacher is the energy that kids have. When they look at art, it's just amazing to see what they see through their eyes. And I might have taught it a hundred times, and it's for them, this is the first time, and they get really excited about, hey, blue and yellow make green. And they, they bring it to me and they're like, look what I did, it made green. That, that just thrills them. My hopes for the school are that Kids get more materials that help them become who they are going to be. What would be really influential is to have more items that are concentrating on STEAM, like the science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. A lot of different activities helps them understand what they really enjoy and what they really are going to be good at. What inspired me to be a teacher is my mom and dad. My dad was a coach for many years of Little League Baseball, and my mom was always like a community organizer, and I feel like I get that from my parents of wanting to make my neighborhood a better place, and I feel like teachers are one of those main components in neighborhoods that can bring more resources to a community and can really advocate for kids. to meet you. I'm so happy to meet you. I can't believe this. This is like, they said a surprise, but I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm shocked. I feel like I have so much to learn from you and so many questions I want to ask. This hey, is awesome. Good. <laughs> I need to learn from Amy. And we're at school, so that's sort of perfect. And, yes. And you're a teacher. Yes. Could I be your student today? Yes. All right, let's go inside. Okay. I'm going to keep talking to you because I have so much to learn. <laughs> Come on in, Amy. <laughs> Showing up every day. Amy, if you want to come stand over here and um, hey, Suze, thank you so much for showing up today. If you would love to say anything to Amy. My name is Jesus Martinez, and I met Amy when I was in third grade. She was there on my wedding day. Amy, because of you being so kind, empathetic with everyone, I learned that from you, and that's why I try to be. Thank you for making you know the person I am today. Oh, hey, Sue. Oh, my Thank God. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I would also love to call up to the microphone Jasmine. Hi, I'm Jasmine Vega. Um, I've had the honor and the pleasure of knowing Miss Amy for about nine years now. Um, she is just incredibly selfless. She's helped me uh, get through the loss of my brother. Um, she's prayed for me when I couldn't and just been a a lending ear, a shoulder to cry on, and just help me uh, get through that. Thank you. I am so sorry for your loss, and uh, I'm very appreciative that you had someone that you could lean on in such a difficult time. I'm so in awe of your guys' network here, and we just want to encourage you 
to keep doing what you're doing. So if you guys don't mind separating. We have over $20,000 worth of STEM-related educational toys and supplies from local Chicago companies, learning resources, and hand-to-mind. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. Oh, my goodness. I also want to mention ConAgra Brands stepped up to the plate, and they're going to give $10,000, which is this check right oh here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm super surprised. I'm like, hey, <laughs> I love them. Amy, I want to ask my most burning question. When you're going through adversity, when things are not easy, when you don't have enough resources, when you are dealing with gang violence, when you are trying to keep your school safe, what do you tell yourself so that maybe somebody watching this show or myself or anyone in this room can have a takeaway of something they could say to themselves to be strong, keep going, and take care of people. I get excited when I see a child and they're at our programs and they're playing safely and they're part of our community and that just gives me hope. And then also I have a husband who's very motivating to me and hey, he's- come here! <laughs> It does take a village work and friendship and partnership. That being said, we are all here to, to specifically say thank you to you, Amy, and to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. <laughs>